Peperoni e patate. A great easy side dish, potatoes, peppers, and onions. Three items that go so well together. Let's put some oil, get yourself a nice large wide pan, and that is, you know, the size of the pan really matters. You're getting a lot of surface, you have the potatoes, we all like those potatoes nice and crunchy and caramelized, so the more surface you have, the better the chances of the potatoes caramelizing. Let me just maybe put a little bit of salt right here, season them. Okay. So what am I doing? I'm making sure that there's oil on every part of the pan. And I put the potatoes right in. As you can see, you know, just about every potato is touching the bottom. Let's put one, two, rosemary, rosemary and potatoes, another marriage made in heaven, and peppers. Nice, these are nice, certainly a bell pepper, nice, meaty, yellow, but you know, any peppers that you have will do. And as a matter of fact, this dish is a, a dish that's from Southern Italy. Uh, Calabria especially is great with peppers. And uh, they use different peppers, like the, the banana peppers, the smaller peppers, they're all fine. Make a few slices and uh, not too small because I want them to kind of really show out there. Okay, so let's see. I have here some red onion, and again, nice and thick, so this way it doesn't uh, just wilt into nothing. You want some texture in this. Since these are sweet peppers, and the dish is from Calabria Spicy, I'm gonna take one of those little diavolillo, this little dry peperoncini, and what you do is just kind of break it in your hand, just like that, and you make your little shreds. I think we have some color here, so let's throw in the onions, the peppers. So now we'll cover this, and what will happen, you know, a little bit of the uh, the water from the onions, from the peppers, and all of that will steam everything, and everything will cook inside, and then we'll uncover it and give it some more of the, uh, the crust. Well, I think this dish is ready. It sure is. Let me take the rosemary out, just like that. A little more parsley, just a little bit to give it some color. And, okay, yes. See the pepper is still a little crunchy, you like that? That's why you put the potatoes first. Okay, that looks good. Maybe just a little bit more of parsley, just like that. And, you know, to kind of bring back that freshness of rosemary, I would just put a little bit of rosemary right like that on the hot potatoes. And talking about hot potato, here they are. Onions, peppers, and potatoes, nice and crunch with a little zest, peperoncino. What a great dish. But I gotta taste this. All right, let's take the potatoes, onion, and do I want a little pepper? Yes, I want this pepper right here. Okay. A little pepper, a little potato, a little bit of onion. What a delicious trio here. really good and you know kind of that warm feeling when you eat food that kind of hugs you from the inside this is that kind of a dish so come and join me tutti a tavola a mangiare to learn more about lydia access to videos and to get recipes tips techniques and much more visit us online at lydiasitaly.com